Hello, everyone. So we are going to work on our nose. Before we get started, I just want to quickly just explain the steps before I actually do it in real life because it is a little difficult. The reason that it's a little difficult is because the nose, it's more about shading than lines. And that's what the difficult part is. The nose is kind of like a blob. Like if you look at Jennifer Anderson's nose, it's basically a blob. But a way to make it look more 3D is to do this thing called the circle method. It's really annoying and really hard because once you get it down, the noses come really easy to you and become much more realistic much more quickly. So, um, your nose is made up of three things. The tip of your nose, that's going to be the big circle in the center. The side nostrils. So if you look in the mirror right now, you know your nostril hole. You see the like circular thing that's like above it? That's what I'm talking about, this circle right here. So I'm just doing a generic nose so you understand. The circles are always going to overlap because it's not like your nostrils are like completely separate from the tip of your nose. They're all morphed together. So that's why the circles are overlapped. You can always erase as you go. Totally up to you. Where the circles intersect is usually where the nostril goes. And if you look in the mirror right now, look at the nostril hole. You see how there's a little bit of like a line underneath to show the edge? So let me just readjust that line. And then depending on your nose, like my nose, the tip sticks out. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it does. And if you notice, it's already looking realistic. And I barely need any like cheating yet. So that's the general stuff and how things go. 